Everyone, how you doing? So I got a little message from Spencer Fearon. Uh, yeah, listen, I haven't said anything about you for a while, have I, Spencer? Listen, forget Porky. I don't care about some fat guy that don't want to box. He's way down on my list of priorities. I'm going to fight Nikki Smedley November 17, but the one that I want the most, in terms of who I dislike the most in boxing, definitely Spencer Fearon. I don't like that guy. I dislike Spencer on a personal level so much. With Nikki, I just want to beat Nikki, shake hands, and that's cool. You know, whether I beat Nikki on points or knockout, whatever, I've got no issue with Nikki. I like Nikki. I don't really, I've got no issue with Nikki Smedley. With Spencer, when I, I want to fight Spencer, and when I fight Spencer, I hope I put you in hospital. That's how much I dislike you, Spencer. Like, you know what, honestly, I haven't even. I'm, I'm trying not to talk about other people. I'm just trying to focus on Nikki Smedley. But you know what? I'm going to make an exception for you, Spencer. Because I know a lot of people in boxing that don't like Spencer on a personal level. They don't trust the guy. He's a snake. I thought, how long has it been since I first met him? 2000 and... Yeah, June 2010. So him and me go way back. I mean, we actually used to get on, like, to tell you the truth. People don't know that. Well, some people don't know that. But I mean, yeah, we used to get on like 2010, 11, 12, 2012. So that's when I came back from America. I mean, me and Spencer used to get on back then. But once I saw the guy for the snake that he is, I don't I don't want the guy anywhere near me. Like, he's, a, he's a snake, honestly. And the guy's been to prison before for drug dealing. For those of you who don't know, he's done time in prison. But anyway, I don't want to say too much about him. I'll talk about him another time. I'm just focused on Nicky Smedley. But after I'm done with Nicky Smedley, I'm coming for you, Spencer. Like he's a snake. The guy's such a loser. And he's a coward. It's like, why doesn't he fight me? He doesn't like me. I don't like him. I'll give him whatever he wants. If he wants to spar in the gym, we can. If he wants to fight for fight on a show somewhere, whatever he wants, I'll give him all the terms and conditions. He can come in as heavy as he likes. I'll still knock that fool out. Because I, if, I, if I fight Spencer, I'll be coming in there with vicious intentions. I, I hope I hurt him. I hope I break his nose. I hope I fracture his eye socket. And I hope after the fight, he spends time in hospital. Because like, trust me, I'm, I'm always calm. I'm, I'm always a calm person. But if I get that full Spencer Fearon in a ring, trust me, I'll get him like Julius Caesar got versus and get to X. I'll make him kneel before me. Me versus Spencer, it's like I'm Alexander the Great, Spencer's Darius. And go, go watch the film, the Colin Farrell film. Go look what happened to that. I'll get Spencer Fearon Pablo Escobar style. Like, I'll, I'll get Spencer Fearon like one of these Mexican cartels. Like next 10 years down the line, you don't even know what happened to Spencer. You know what I mean? But anyway, I'll talk about Spencer another time, but I'm just, I'm just getting started on him. Let me get let me get Nikki Smedley out of the way first, November 17, and after that, Spencer Fearon's top of my priority list. Yeah? See you soon, Spencer, you little rat.